folks. I'm Jeff from Moonshine Distiller. Uh, it's been a couple of years since our last videos. We've been a little bit busy starting a distillery and losing a little bit of hair, but uh, we're, we're back. We're uh, here to answer some more questions for you. In the tail series, we're going to be covering a whole host of more advanced techniques and topics. In case you missed it, I would recommend taking a look at our first two series, as watching those videos will give you a much more solid foundation and help you understand everything we'll be presenting in these videos. Today we're going to be assembling a do-it-yourself heat controller kit. That's one of the most popular questions we get here at Moonshine Distiller. People who want to do this but aren't sure they can do it themselves. So today we're going to be going through the process step by step, just so you can see exactly what's involved and exactly what tools are needed. First, drill two one and one quarter inch holes evenly spaced on both sides of the enclosure. Measure the ammeter and create a template for where to cut. Make sure you cut the front side and shave off any plastic burrs. Insert the ammeter. Using scissors or wire strippers, remove the black sheath around the wires and cut away the insulation. Then strip the individual wires. Repeat this process on the other end. Crimp the wire terminals to one end of the wire. Slide the cable gland on the other end of the black cable with the nut side or threaded side facing out. Attach the plate for your element guard kit. Tightly secure the cable gland and attach the green wire to the grounding screw on the plate. Attach wire terminals to the heating element and slide the tube portion of the element guard and its gasket over the element. You may need a buddy to help hold the pieces together while you clamp them. Teamwork makes the dream work. Insert the wire terminal end of the cable onto the enclosure and lock it in using the nut of the cable gland. On the opposite side, insert your pronged outlet cable and tighten the cable gland nut. Attach one end of the pronged cable to the solid state relay. Attach one of the wires from the black cable to the other post on the solid state relay. Attach one wire of the black cable to the ammeter and the other wire from the pronged cable to the second ammeter post. Next connect the ground wires from the black wire to the pronged cord by twisting the two wires together and then threading the wire connector over the top. Double check the diameter of the threaded portion of your potentiometer and drill an appropriately sized hole. Insert the potentiometer into the hole you just drilled and connect the wires to the two smaller screw posts on the solid state relay. It doesn't really matter which order you connect these wires, but if you don't like the direction in which the potentiometer spins to turn your power up, you can always reverse them later. Now it's finally time to start wrapping things up. Thread the washer and bolt onto the other side of the potentiometer and reassemble your enclosure box. Finally, install the knob on the shaft of the potentiometer. All right, hopefully that gives you an idea of what's involved in assembling our do-it-yourself heat controller kit. And for those of you that already have one, hopefully it gets you started in assembling it. As always, if you have questions or comments, please leave them in the comment box below and we'll get back as soon as we can. Or you can give us a call at 970-281-5790.